Okay, crazy fam, before we hop into Trials of Osiris, I want to talk about how you can go flawless on a Titan if you're, and all of these things that I'm going to go over is going to be true if you're a solo player, if you're a team player, if you're queuing up as a duo, it doesn't matter. And the reason I want to make this video is the last video that I made about how to go flawless as a new player and as a average KD player, and you guys seem to enjoy it a lot, but that video was focused on less technical stuff and more on the mindset, the strategy, many very important things that will get you to victory in trials of osiris but as mentioned not many technical things in terms of class specifics right so that that's why today we're going to talk about technical stuff per class in this video i'm going to be talking about the titan i will also be making a video about the warlock and the hunter so stay tuned for that i will drop the link to that other video there's a lot of things in that video that you really don't even think about and pay attention in order to grow as a player so make sure to check it out once again the link is going to be in the description it will help you a lot now the first thing i want to talk about on a titan ladies and gents is the titan movement and a lot of people do not utilize it so for example in this void meta you will see a lot of titans playing bubble the one thing that i don't see a lot is people using shield bash and as soon as i see somebody using this one right here shield throw i know that they're you know not as not is experienced on a titan and the reason is what shield bash offers you on this class is absolutely ridiculous okay it really really is the amount of movement you will have on this class with shield bash is is just something else it's next level but the crazy thing about the titan is that even next season when we're gonna have arc or solar updates this movement isn't going anywhere first of all let me show you one of my favorite techniques which is amazing for getting away let's say you're running you can slide into a shield bash it makes it really hard for the enemies to hit you and at the same time you get out of some crazy situations really really quick and obviously another one would be to bait some enemy shots let's say they're using some special ammo or whatever just get out there they see you they try to take the shot but you shield bash back into the corner this is all very very useful and in general once you master shield bash there's no reason for you not to use this ability obviously when you tag someone with it you will lose it but you don't want to do that in general the only time you want to do that is let's say if you're being chased with a super a lot of people don't do this but trust me it is very powerful let's say you're being chased by a super you're running away while in the air you can turn around and shield bash him and you will suppress that super which is crazy none of them expect it by the way they just they just they're just standing there swinging their hands trying to you know do the hits with the super but at the same time you just shield bash them you just keep meleeing them and they die it's very very powerful uh, this ability is 100 something you want to focus on on the titan and master it it might take time but give it time don't worry about it just work on the skills put in the time even if you fail at the beginning it's fine just try to master the movement on the void titan trust me it will take your game to the next level another thing you can do with the shield bash is since we have a lot of bubbles in uh the crucible at the moment guys the crazy thing is you can actually rush into the bubble shield bash them which will push them out of the bubble and then just kill them. That's another great tip that you can use against a lot of bubble titans. A lot of people have been asking me, Pip, what stats should we utilize? As you guys can see right here, for me, it's max resilience, max recovery. Now, these, I would say, are the two main stats you want to focus on on the titan. They're very, very important. Obviously, you want to have max resilience because your class ability is tied to it which means that you can drop your uh, barrier very, very fast. The barrier in Trials of Osiris is one of the most powerful abilities, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. So make sure to stack into resilience. It's very important. And the next one is recovery. And the reason you want to have really high recovery, guys, it will save your life more than you can imagine. Because if you're getting tagged, right, and you're just getting around the corner, it, and right here, Thanks to the shield bash, you get around the corner really quick. You create that distance right here and you and you give yourself one or two seconds, which is more than enough for you to start the recovery, right? It kicks in and now you're ready for the battle. You're ready to re-engage. So recovery is extremely important on every class, also on the Titan, obviously. So these two stats are 
what I advise for you guys to focus on on the Titan. And then for me personally, I really like having max intellect. A lot of people say it's not worth it at the moment. But for me personally, when you have a really intense game, very close game that goes to four, four, for example, in Trials of Osiris, the cool thing is even that five, seven and eight second difference compared to, let's say, tier eight or nine or seven really makes a difference. And you can get that super just a few seconds before your enemy does and it can win you the round. So I love running max intellect as mentioned however if you don't want to do that you can keep this around tier 7 tier 8 and then invest more into discipline for example but in my humble opinion just simply because how the titan works at the moment where you're dropping that barrier and once you're behind this barrier you're going to be charging your grenade a bit faster and also if you want you can slap on for example instead of utility kickstart you can have double bombers that will also give you a bunch of your grenade energy back every time you drop your shield and as we mentioned since we have max resilience you're going to be having that shield very very often so that's one thing that you want to keep in mind now for the mobility a lot of people say you know high mobility isn't good on the titan and so on but i like my mobility at least at tier 4 and the reason for that is straight speed right because a lot of people don't know that mobility does affect your strafe speed so if it's let's say tier one, you're going to be strafing really slow, which makes you an easier target to hit. Now let's move on to the barrier because I see a lot of players, especially new players, use it incorrectly. So I want to give you guys a few little tips that will make you better as a Titan while using that barrier. It is a very powerful instrument in Trials of Osiris that you need to use both for reviving your teammates, survivability and on top of that the third thing you want to do is use it very aggressively now let's say if you get a pick let's say you get a pick around this area this guy's peeking right here boom you get that pick you can advance your position in order to watch that body it's not necessary for you to push in to make it super dangerous to run in here because you're probably gonna expect your enemies over here or over here but what you could do is advance your position slightly better drop it right over here which gives you the ability to peek the corner in a more safe manner because as soon as you drop this right here you will be able to kind of focus on the body and also you'll have an idea on what your enemies are doing you can then maybe throw a grenade you know wait for your barrier a little bit throw your grenade then push in advance a little bit more drop your barrier again and so on and so on so make sure to use your barrier in a smart way don't keep it at all times just for defensive purposes if it's needed advance with it use it as a cover to move up your positions okay try to make your enemies uncomfortable that's one of the most important things you can do with the barrier keep that in mind trust me it will help you out a lot another thing that i want to talk about really quick is the mods right a lot of people don't run powerful friends in radiant light for example and if you do have these mods you should be running them even if you're running solo because what happens is if you're running these mods guys when you drop a super right and your teammates are around you if you drop this super right here not only are you and your teammates going to be getting the damage buff from the bubble but simply because how radiant light works your teammates will also be charged with light and on top of that guys if any of them is using powerful friends you will also be charged with light and having that extra damage buff even when your bubble buff runs out is very very strong and as long as you're running high energy fire and taking charge yeah you just have some amazing extra damage a lot of crazy things come from these mods make sure to slap them on if you have them of course even if you're going in solo run around with your teammates if you get that super pop it next to them you will get the buff they will also get the buff if they are running the same mods so it's a very good strategy to buff each other in the crucible now another thing that i see guys is how people use the bubble and even though the bubble is mainly a defensive super a lot of people especially people that have max intellect i see those people just not use their super and hold on to it just way too long let's say if it's a close game three 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 or a four three round or it's four four even at that point if if you have that kind of game you should at least 
be working towards your second bubble. So let's say it's a close game. It's a slow game. You have a bubble in the third round. Don't be afraid to use that super. You will be getting it back, guys. You will. I promise you that. If it's a slow game, if you have max intellect, and if you're playing decently that game, you will make your way to the second super. So there's no reason for you to keep that first super at all times. It's not going to do anything for you, okay? You're just going to pretty much give them a free round meanwhile if it goes to 4-4 you can already have a second super and also don't be afraid to use it aggressively if you get a fast bubble right let's say we're playing on javelin right here usually what i do if i get a fast bubble let's say it's 2-1 and i already have my bubble which is very possible with max intellect or even tier 7 tier 8 intellect on the bubble because the cooldown of it is so is so low what i usually do is i rush through here i literally just push shield bash and drop it right here usually my enemies are somewhere around this area right over here and if you have a fusion rifle obviously it becomes way more consistent you're gonna get super easy kills if you have a shotgun it also gets way way stronger same goes for any weapon that you're using and then i get a quick wipe right here right i get i get the kills i get some of my energy back because obviously i'm getting the kills and also i'm creating orbs for my teammates which then can use their supers faster so overall, this is the way you should be utilizing the bubble. As mentioned, don't keep it. Don't make it too slow. And just don't, just don't drag it on to the very last second of the game. Now, let's talk about exotics, guys. Because I get a lot of questions about exotics on the Titan. Pip, what should I be using? I'm a new player. So I'm going to give you guys my humble opinion on what are the exotics that new players, returning players, or as I mentioned, people that don't have like... 20 hours a day to play the game should be using because the exotics that i'm gonna go over will increase your survivability by a lot as you can see right here guys my favorite exotic is crest of alpha loopy now this one is absolutely phenomenal it heals your teammates it heals you and then you also get to create an extra orb every time you drop bubble which is super cool for your teammates they get their supers faster and this is an amazing exotic for survivability so this is the first one that i'm going to mention crest of alpha loopy absolutely beautiful i love this one and the one of the biggest reasons i enjoy this one is when you combine it with the void titan guys let's say you're hurt your your hp is really low you get around the corner you drop it not only do you get the overshield, but it also heals you, which gives you the ability to re-engage with your enemies much, much faster. So this is currently my favorite exotic, but let me show you some other great options for survivability. First one that I'm going to mention, obviously, is going to be the One-Eyed Mask. This one is an exceptional exotic. It was absolutely broken when it first came out. It was ridiculous how powerful it was. And even though they nerfed this exotic, this is still very, very good for those 1v2 or even 1v3 encounters. It gives you an overshield and all that stuff, highlights the target who dares to damage you. That right there on its own sounds pretty badass. Track down and destroy them for an overshield, okay? So it gives you an overshield as you get the kill. And overall, it's a very powerful exotic, especially when you pair it with max recovery okay that's another great option if you want to give it a go trust me you're not going to regret it and the final one would be Saiten's ramparts now this one for those people that don't know you pretty much drop your overshield and then you can shoot through it yeah i know it sounds absolutely ridiculous and it is extremely powerful it's not as strong as the normal barrier which means that it will take less damage for your enemies to destroy it and once you master it in terms of like positioning not only will it increase your survivability on top of that it catches your enemies off guard all the time so these are the exotics that i would advise for you guys if you're a new player and if you want to focus on survivability and catching your enemies off guard when it comes to weapons guys honestly whatever you're most confident with always go for those weapons especially if you're still learning the game and then as you get better put in more time to let's say a hand cannon or a shotgun if you're trying to follow the meta and once you get good with these weapons then you can move them to trials of osiris oh dragon becoming a member holy shit hey chat we beat our all-time high 81 members baby hey dragon thank you for becoming a member i truly appreciate the support welcome to the crazy fam hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did slap a like subscribe to the channel as always ladies and gentlemen never forget to share that positive energy all around take care and i'll see you in the next one